what is the area of the shape below? Now, first, you may not know how to figure this out, but if we decompose this into two familiar shapes, then it'll be easy for us to figure out. Now, we can decompose it to two semicircles, which combines to make one complete circle and one rectangle. Now, you may think it's a square, but you'll see why it's a rectangle in just a minute. First, I'm going to find the area of the circle. Let's go ahead and tackle that first. So the formula for a circle is area equals pi times the radius squared. Now we have to figure out what the radius is. Now you probably won't know because you don't see a complete circle, but if we take this piece of the circle over here and move it over here, that looks a little f more familiar. So we took this piece away and we combined it over here. Now it looks like a complete circle. Now we can see that this blue line actually represents the radius of the circle. So now all we have to do is substitute. In this case, we're going to use 3.14 for pi. So we're going to use 3.14 for pi. So now all we have to do is substitute and solve. So I'm going to substitute 3.14 in for pi and 36 and 4 hundredths in for my radius. Now you have to make sure you square first. Do not multiply 3.14 and 36 and 4 tenths first. You have to square first. So when I square 36 and 4 tenths, I get, excuse me, I get 1,324 and 96 hundredths. Now I have to multiply that by pi, which I get 4,160.3744. Now I like to wait to round it to the very end to be more accurate. Now if there's more numbers, if you do another problem and there's more numbers than four, I wouldn't recommend going to pass that. I would recommend round it to at most the fourth decimal place. All right, so this is the area, this blue is the area of the two semicircles combined. Now we have to figure out the area of the rectangle. Now we know this is a rectangle. Like I said before, we decomposed and we brought the other half circle over here. We know if this is the radius, this line represents the radius then multiply that by two, we get our diameter. And the diameter happens to be the same as the height of the rectangle. Now, when we multiply to get the height of the rectangle, we have to multiply the 36 and 4 tenths by two, which gives us 72 and 8 tenths. So we know the height of the rectangle is 72 and 8 tenths and then we know the base of the rectangle is 85 meters. So now we have to write our formula for area of a rectangle which is area equals base times height. In this case our base is 85 and our height is 72 and 8 tenths. So now to find the area I just go ahead and simplify and multiply them together and I get 6,188. Now these are both in meters. So I found the area of the rectangle and then I found the area of the circle. The two semicircles put together makes one complete circle. So I found the area of those two. Now to figure out the area of the complete shape, I have to add the two. So I'm going to substitute my information in. I know the area of the rectangle was 6,188 plus the area of the circle, which is 4,160.3744. Now, when I combine those two, I get 10,348.3744. Now, if the question said round to the nearest whole meter, then I will go ahead and round it to 
and this is in meters squared. Remember, area squared. So the area for the complete shape is 10,348 meters squared, and that is when I round it. Remember, we had to find the area of the two semicircles, which makes one complete circle, then find the area of the rectangle, and then add it all up to get our final answer. Now I want you to pause this video and try to find the area of this shape as if the base of this was 75 meters and this was 25 meters. So go ahead and pause the video, work it out, and the answer will be revealed after. Okay, these are the steps of finding the area of the new dimensions. I have highlighted the area of the two semicircles, and this is the area of the two, re excuse me, the one rectangle, and this is the area of the complete shape. And my final answer, when I round it to the nearest whole number, is 5,000. 713 meters squared.